What did you notice about the place when you moved in? We did the initial walkthrough, and there was quite a few tears in some of the screens. And there were screens that were missing um, on some of the windows. The walls in the bedroom, the walls in the house, were not painted. And you could tell that they did patchwork because you could see the patchwork throughout the house. Mm -hmm. So they remodeled the house, but there were things that still weren't taken care of. So it was old and it was dirty. And I addressed this with his son over and over and it was months and months and really over a year and a half and I finally got fed up. Okay, let and me I hear from Mr. Behick. Your Honor, I actually have a document here that shows that the screens and that they needed to be fixed, signed by the plaintiff. At the time of move-in? At the time of move-in. Okay. And that it was fixed and signed. Can you, um, Officer Montano, can I see that, please? Thank you. Yes, ma'am. Well, um, yes, we did go over that, but it took over a period of time for them to be fixed. There well, was this was signed. It says here, on Monday, July 22nd, the landlord, Mr. Behick, has replaced all the screens for the windows, except two screens for the windows on the west side of the property, as well as both screen doors for the rear of the property. There's a diagram here and your signature. Yes. A little so, over a month. So he replaced all the screens, but there were still two. Big screen in the kitchen, no screen, okay. and one in the living room. Those two were never replaced. The windowsills were old, and he said, because they're old, we're not replacing them. And I had to continue to text his son to replace, to put in a screen door. Okay, in hold the on. Room. Mr. Behick, yeah. the screens weren't the reason why you took some of the money out of the deductions, right? Because we, no, we could just no, skip Honor, over this. No, absolutely. So if that's absolutely. not, in, yeah. that's not the reason why you kept some but of the security. Your Honor, the home I received, I inherited literally seven months prior. We remodeled that house. There was nothing old with the house. It was gutted to the bone. We've, then why was, were there missing screens? The outside we did not. The inside we knew kitchen, new bathrooms, okay. everything. It's not true. The shower in the master bedroom is the original shower. The windowsills are all the original. So he is not being honest. Let, let's, I, let's, let's fast forward. Okay. You get through the first year. At what point did you want to move? We didn't really want to move. Okay. We had asked him if we could, my kids could renew the lease. And he said we would be more than happy to, but we're gonna raise it from $3,800 to $4,500. Okay. I would like to share something. So I constantly asked them to fix the window, the lock, there was no lock in the master bedroom. I sent text messages constantly. This is on February 10th, 2021. When he got this text message, his son sent me another text message and said, we have other people interested in this property. It's worth more money, you know, with the big yard, the pool, and the dog. He ended up calling me and said, if you don't like living here, get out. All right, Judge Juarez. This is about a security deposit return. Yes. It's not about who was a good landlord or yeah. a good tenant. It's about the return of a security deposit. And what I want to know is, Ms. Sacco, you say at length in your complaint, he agreed to let me break the lease, he agreed to let me give less than appropriate notice. He made all of these small adjustments for you. And now you want to hold him to a technical rule because he took 28 days instead of 21 days to return your security deposit. Doesn't it, that seem a little hypocritical? No. Why? Because the only reason he let me break my lease is because he wanted to get the solar credit, the solar credit for California. So the only way he could do that is by me giving him all my personal business, my San Diego gas and electric, and I did that out of good faith. But what does that have to do with any? I don't understand. Can you maybe explain it to me? Yes, Your Honor. Before she was moving out, and whether she stayed or didn't stay, it didn't matter. We needed to get a new roof, and the sdg &E was in her name. She had to sign, I called her personally, she had to sign uh, saying because she was a tenant right. that she understood that was what was going on. Okay, and you did that for him? I and did. that was a favor, correct? I did. 